Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be tackling this diophantine, this quadratic diophantine equation, which basically means we want to find integer solutions, uh, integers x and y, such that this is true. So first I want to explain a little trick with um, squares and different moduli. So if you square a number and you look at it mod 4, well obviously any number belongs to one of four residues mod 4, right? 0, 1, 2, or 3. And basically a property of modular arithmetic is that if you have some number squared, and then, I mean this holds for any power, but if you have something squared, you can just take that something, put it to whatever residue it is, and then square it. So any number we square will have to fall in one of these four categories. And so we see that if we just check the first four, right, 0, 1, 2, 3, then we just get 0, 1, 0, 1. So any square mod 4 has to either be 1 mod 4 or 0 mod 4. Next, if we look mod 8, uh, we can do the same trick. But notice that I, I didn't write out all of the numbers, and I'll explain that. So 0 squared, we get 0. We get 1, 4, 1, 0. The rest of the numbers, 5, 6, and 7, will just be these numbers, but basically backwards. Because 5 is equal to negative 3. And if you square both sides, you get 5 squared is equal to 3 squared. So we would get 1, 4, 1. So essentially, if we take a number mod 8, and we look, or we look at a number squared, mod 8, it can only be 0, 1, or 4. Those are the only three possibilities. So now let's look at how we can use these facts to, to find, maybe to find that there's not integer solutions to this, right? So, so right off the bat, we don't really have, I mean, this is the only power of 4, so we could only get rid of this mod 4, but let's instead say there there are two cases for y. y could be even or y could be odd. And if y is, let's, so let's say y is even. y is equal to 2 times z. If we plug that into this equation, we get, we get that x squared is equal to 8 times z squared minus, sorry, that, that's a z, 16z plus 3. And so now we see that we can take the equation, both sides, we can take it mod 4. Because 8z squared minus 16z, this is a multiple of 4. So that's just congruent to 0. So we get that x, x squared is equal to 3 mod 4. But this is a contradiction because a number squared can only be 0 or 1 mod 3. Uh, I'm sorry, mod 4. So this implies that y has to be odd. So let's say y is equal to 2z plus 1s. Uh, and so let's plug that back in here. Alright, so now we get that x squared is equal to 8z squared minus 8z minus 3. And now here we can take both sides of the equation mod 8. Because 8z squared minus 8z, that's just going to go to 0. And negative 3, we know that negative 3 is congruent to 5. So what we get is that x squared is equal to 5. But this is another contradiction because a square mod 8 can only be 0, 1, or 4. It cannot be 5. So therefore, since y isn't even, and since y isn't odd, then y, well, there's no possibilities for y, so there are no integer solutions to this quadratic Diophantine equation. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a pretty useful trick for tackling uh, Diophantine equations, is just considering different mods and what, and especially for quadratics, right? And, and other powers, you can use other numbers. Uh, I, I think for cubics, you can consider mod 7. Um, but 
yeah it's very useful in finding contradictions which lead to the conclusion that there's no integer solutions anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one